Florida's Everglades National Park comprises the largest remaining subtropical wilderness in the continental United States. Covering an area of 1.5 million acres, this is protected habitat for several endangered species, including the Florida panther, manatee, Atlantic loggerhead turtle, and alligator. It has been designated a biosphere reserve, a wetland of international importance, and a World Heritage Site. And it is the perfect destination for paddlers seeking a backcountry adventure. A few years ago, we paddled a loop through the north half of the Everglades. Recently, we returned, this time to embark on a southern loop. Our departure point was the port town of Flamingo, located on Florida Bay. From here, we would paddle west. Then, rounding the point at East Cape, we headed north and followed the coastline. At Broad River, we turned east and headed inland, making our way through the narrow passage known as the Nightmare. Then, it was down the Shark River and south across Whitewater Bay. Finally, we paddled through the Buttonwood Canal and back to Flamingo. When most people talk about the Florida Everglades, the mental image that comes to mind is that of swamps, dense mangrove forests, and alligators. And granted, there is an awful lot of that here in the Everglades. However, there's a whole nother section worth exploring along the waters in the Gulf of Mexico. Here you will find some amazing beaches with some superb camping opportunities. Those beaches along the Gulf of Mexico were certainly a highlight of our Everglades trip. For three days we paddled the coast. Setting out at sunrise each day in order to take advantage of the morning calm. By midday, we'd find ourselves a secluded spot and set up camp. We'd then have the rest of the day to relax and swim or beach comb and explore. By early evening, it was time to prepare a hearty meal by the campfire on the beach, then sit back and enjoy the spectacular sunsets. One thing you really have to be aware of when uh, camping in the Everglades, especially on the ocean side of the tides, it's a good idea to have an updated set of tide tables with you. Here's a good example. Last night we camped here. This is the Graveyard Creek campsite, and we were able to paddle right up to our campsite. But when we woke up this morning, it's at low tide. And last night we were out here fishing. This morning, as you see, it's like 200 paces before you get out to where the water starts.
Since this is a water access park, power boats are often a common sight in the main channels. However, there are some areas where motorboats just aren't allowed. One of those areas is a very narrow, shallow, and overgrown passage known locally as the Nightmare. So we're going through the nightmare section in the Wilderness Waterway in the Everglades National Park and it is a bit of a nightmare. Uh, looking at the NOAA maps we were supposed to stay left the entire time. We came up to a major Y junction uh, and there's significant stream flow and a Y channel going off to the left and we thought okay we'll stick to the left but um, we've come down this channel and it's just getting narrower and narrower and narrower and it's kind of come to an impasse. It's crossed with logs. Um, and we're running out of water so we're gonna head on back but uh, yeah this section is adequately named and if you come in here at low water expect a nightmare eventually we found our way out of the nightmare and onto Broad Creek From there, we paddled east along the Harney River. We then headed south down the Shark River. Where we spent our fourth night camped out on the Shark River Chicky. The next day we set out to cross Whitewater Bay. This is a large expanse of shallow water with a reputation for being quite rough on windy days. Lucky for us, today was a calm day. Hot day out here in Whitewater Bay in the Florida Everglades. It's only about 11 o'clock in the morning and it's already about 30 degrees Celsius. Gorgeous calm, no breeze, no bugs. It's perfect paddling weather. A little too hot, but uh, coming from the Canadian winter, we can't complain, so we're just gonna enjoy the sun and uh, paddle through this uh, vast calmness today. Our destination, the South Joe River Chicky, a large double chicky nestled in a small sheltered bay. Camping on these chickies is a great experience. You have a solid base on which to set up your tent. There's a roof overhead that provides some shade. 
there's even an outhouse. And they make a great fishing platform. It was the perfect spot to spend our last night camped out in the Florida Everglades before returning to the port town of Flamingo.